Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to my new video series on Apache Kafka. This video will be the first of many on this particular topic. Okay, uh, uh, let me give you some examples first that why Kafka is important for us. Uh, I would like to quote two or three examples uh, uh, so that you come to know about its significance, right? First of all, the first example is from Netflix. I hope uh, you must have uh, accounts on Netflix. And net, the thing is, the Netflix is using Apache Kafka to apply recommendation in the real time while you're watching TV shows. And that's why when you finish a TV show, you'll get the new recommendation right away, right? So like who is working behind the scenes? Apache Kafka. Other uh, use cases that Uber, one of the uh, largest company, actually uh, uh, also make use of Kafka to gather the user taxi and trip data in real time to compute and forecast forecast, demand and compute the uh, surge pricing in the real time. So again, who is helping the Uber? Apache Kafka. So that's the reason, this is the just the two examples I've quoted. There are, mul there are multiple use cases of a Kafka available. That's the reason like uh, I have decided to create a, a little video series on this particular topic because it's so important for the companies, right? So let me start with this. So why Kafka was introduced, right? First of all, wh what was the traditional scenario and what's the today scenario? First of all, this, this is the traditional scenario, right? How the company started, right? We were having one source system, we are having one data uh, target system, and uh, like we have some communication of data taking place between these two systems. It was quite simple at first, right? So wh what, why, why uh, this become so complex? Why there was a need of Kafka? Because of this particular scenario. After a while, what happened is, there, now we are uh, now we are having we are living in a scenario that when we are having multiple sources system we have multiple sources we are having multiple destinations and we need to communicate like in parallel concurrently right you can see that multiple connections available right so uh, it's very complicated now it is it is uh, becoming so complicated it's kind of a mesh network we got now that uh, we we uh, is very hard to determine that uh, how the uh, uh, which of the source system is connected to which of the target system so th that's where the problem started that's why i've given the title of this particular slide where the problem started this is the problem this is the root cause of the problem like uh, uh, that's the reason we have to think about uh, about a particular solution that's the reason the kafka come into picture right so just see now in this case only that let's suppose just imagine that if we have a four source system and we have a six target system, you know the mathematics, right? So six into four, 24 integrations. So it is very, very difficult to manage. Just imagine when we are in a real time scenario, when we are having n number of source systems and n number of target systems, you can imagine that complexity will be too high, right, to handle. So every integration actually comes with some difficulties also like uh, it's not that you just you just connect the uh, systems uh, like we, with each other the job is done no you need to take care of multiple things we need to take care that how the data will be transported which protocol we need to use <coughs> right between the source system and, and the destination system and we need to also take care of the data format also that how data will be passed whether data will be in the binary format comma separated format json format avro parquet in which format, right? In addition to it, we need to also take care that how data will be shaped. What's the schema? What's the structure of a data? So that's the reason that each source system will be having an, will be have an increased load from the connections. This is the issue with the traditional architecture. That, uh, so the Apache, uh, Apache Kafka came for, uh, came to rescue us, right? This is the reason that why we are using Kafka nowadays. So let me introduce the Kafka. Apache uh, Kafka was created by LinkedIn, right? You are, uh, I hope you all are familiar with the LinkedIn. You must have uh, got some profiles on it as well. So now it has been open source project. It is now uh, mainly uh, maintained by a private company, Confluent, but it is under the Apache Software Foundation now. So it is a distributed resilient architecture and uh, it is also a fault tolerant. I hope you know what's the meaning of resilient, means toughness, right? So it is distributed, right? Again, uh, like this is the uh, I guess it is a characteristic of all the Apache uh, uh, like uh, tools. Like uh, they they have they work in distributed fashion. They have a resilient architecture and they know how to. These are they also are quite durable enough, right? So next point which I have mentioned here, it's have a got a horizontal scalability. I hope you know that the meaning of scalability that how easily we can increase or decrease our resources based upon the clients or based upon the request. So you can see that we can scale up to hundreds of brokers like if the demand comes, right? And this uh, Apache Kafka can scale uh, to millions of messages per second, 
right because one of the uh, big application of apache kafka is in the uh, messaging only right so another uh, good another good point or plus point of apache kafka is it gives us the high performance there is a there is a very less delay right latency means delay this there will be very lesser latency of just of 10 ms milliseconds in real time so what makes kafka a bigger uh, bigger product you can see this have written here that it is used by 2000 plus firms across the globe and you uh, you must be aware of the fact that that what's the meaning of fortune 500 companies so almost half of the fortune 500 companies use apache kafka some of them are listed here as well netflix linkedin uber walmart airbnb so these are some of the uh, like uh, big giants who are using apache apache kafka these days right so this is the picture of kafka like that's the reason apache kafka came to rescue you can see now like uh, we are having again the same architecture which i've shown at the very front of starting of this particular video in which we were having the connections right we were having complex connections in between now what has been changed that <coughs> we have apache kafka just to uh, just came to rescue us right so in this case like apache kafka allows you to decouple your data streams and your streams are now uh, like you can see now the source system Uh, can ha will be having their data end up in apache kafka and uh, well your target system will source your data straight from apache kafka so it is apache kafka is acting like a interface between uh, these two uh, sources and target right so they are uh, instead of interacting with uh, each other directly so we have kind of a broker in in uh, like uh, like in between them right simple example is like uh, if i need to buy any house right uh, so what like to whom i will be contacting i'll be contacting the broker right so through broker i'll be uh, uh, i'll be uh, meeting my the buyer who is gonna like uh, who is gonna like purchase my house right so like we have a broker in between now which is called apache kafka right so it has been titled with the a high throughput distributed me uh, messaging system so which is helping the source and destination to link with each other right okay so like what are different use cases i've already have explained one or two so some other the major use cases of apache kafka is messaging system so we can make use of apache kafka in messaging system and similarly we can make use of the apache kafka in the like um, for activity tracking right and uh, like we can track someone's activity using the apache kafka then we have we can also have one one more use like we are gathering uh, the matrices from many different locations like in the case of uh, iot we have a sensors uh, which has been deployed in uh, various uh, locations in a distributed fashion so we can make use of kafka in that case uh, in addition to it we can make use of apache kafka for applications log gathering so we have a logs available right every application when we perform some activities so the logs got generated so we have apache kafka for gathering those logs in addition to it uh, like we can also make use of apache kafka for stream processing this is one of the bigger use case of apache kafka like we can make use of apache kafka like we can easily integrate with uh, some other uh, like bigger giants as well like a uh, flink uh, like a uh, uh, spark right like i hope you must be aware of the uh, aware of this term uh, stream processing stream means unbounded uh, like set of tuples or unbounded data which don't have any restriction so we we can make use of apache kafka to process that kind of data which don't have any beginning or ending which is a unbounded stream right and uh, uh, we can make make use of apache kafka for decoupling of system dependencies and as i've already said we can easily integrate with the other tools as well like spark flink storm hadoop right so this uh, like uh, just this was a little video i have prepared for the uh, with the motive that you must have got some little knowledge in the upcoming videos i'll be beginning with the installation part and i'll be performing some of the little demonstrations to help you know that how apache kafka works and how you can make use of apache kafka in your own set of applications i hope you must have gone uh, you must have uh, like um, got some knowledge out of this video in case if you have uh, like if you have any confusion if you don't didn't understood uh, any uh, didn't understand the any particular word or uh, some 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 uh, you have some uh, like other issue you can simply comment on this video i'll be happy to address all the uh, comments thanks for watching see you next video on apache kafka where i'll be teaching you how we can install the apache kafka on ubuntu machine thanks